If you want to write better emails at work or you're spending hours searching online for the answer to a question, you may want to use ChatGPT to help you out. It's a free service that's been all over the news, but people don't know how to actually use it to get the most out of it. And I'm going to show you that today. And for those who don't like the bias that it has, you need to watch until the end. I'm going to show you how to get around that very easily. First, these three tips will explain how to get the best possible information out of ChatGPT to save you time in your life, in your business, and in your workplace. Be clear and specific. The prompt that you type in should clearly convey what kind of response is expected from ChatGPT. A clear and specific prompt will help ChatGPT understand the context better and generate a more relevant and useful response. Use natural language. When creating prompts, try to use natural language that reflects how people would normally ask a question or start a conversation. This can help ChatGPT understand the context better and generate responses that feel more like they're coming from a real person. Provide relevant context. Providing relevant context to the prompt can help ChatGPT generate more accurate and specific responses. Context can include information about the topic, the intended audience, the tone of the conversation, and any other relevant details that can help ChatGPT understand the context better. These are the tips that you need to know. You can look at them, you can experiment for yourself. Ultimately, the point is that the more information you give it and the more clarity you give, the better it's going to be. It is based on the data set that it has, but by giving it additional information, it's going to give you a really good response. And if it doesn't, you can reply to it and give more clarification. This is really important. That's one of the advantages that ChatGPT has over what I'll show you momentarily. Now, that's ChatGPT. A lot of people say that there's a lot of bias to it. I don't like it. I don't want to use it. Well, I've got something for you. First, we're going to look at ChatGPT, and this is it right here. So you can see for yourself, this is a simple screen, and I was told, based on some screenshots that I saw through Twitter, that it would not write a poem praising Donald Trump. Let's give it a try. As an AI language model, I do not have personal beliefs or opinions, and I must remain impartial and unbiased. Therefore, I cannot create a poem praising or criticizing any individual, including Donald Trump, as it goes against my programming to remain neutral. However, I can generate poetry on various topics, themes, and emotions. Please let me know if you have a different request. That's what it said. Now I'm going to take this exact line and I'm going to paste it into something called Playground. Now Playground is made by OpenAI, the same company that makes ChatGPT. In fact, it's the exact same language model. The only difference is that you know ChatGPT uses an additional layer on top of it. And so we can get directly to the source and we can paste this in here and I can head down to the bottom and hit submit. And it's going to give me a poem. So the bias is not something that should shy you away from using this. Look, when I search in a search engine to get some basic information, whether that is something about the human body that I've done many times before, whether that is I mean, just anything about um, Amazon selling, about any topic, I can go in and instead of going to a search engine, I can ask the AI. Now, why would I do that? Why would I want to do that? Why not just go search online? Let me explain this to you. When I search online, when you search online, the very first three, four, five, ten items that come up, these are not what you want. And why do I know this? Well, because as an individual in e-commerce, I know about PPC, pay per click. So I'm going to pay for the top spot to be there for those keywords that you typed in. You see? So the ones at the top aren't the most accurate results. Those are being paid for. 
Then you go down a little bit further and you have SEO, search engine optimization. Those links are not the most relevant to you. They're just optimized based on different tools that have been used based on different things. So they can slide in to make sure that you're clicking on their website. You also have authority. These, these levels of authority, you know, you're going to have websites that are, let's just say Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, and all these different things that the, you know, the search engine can trust over, you know, joeschmo.com because they say, you know, there's good stuff in here. They have controls. They have all these things. So we're going to put our friends up at the top of the list and Joe Schmo goes down the list, page two, page three, page four. So you're never going to get the best information by searching through a search engine. Doesn't matter if you're using Google, doesn't matter if you're using DuckDuckGo, doesn't matter. You're not going to get the best searches because there's, you know, ads, there's search engine optimization and there's so on. Okay. So that's important to know. So when you ask the AI, you're just going to get the information directly to you. Now, is it perfect? No, not at all. Is it going to always provide you the accurate information? No, but do websites provide the most accurate information either? No, but you verify it. You check on that data, you verify it. So this is what I'm telling you today. This is how to get around the bias. I'm telling you how to use it. I hope you appreciate this information. If you want, you're in a particular industry, you're an electrician, you're in healthcare, whatever it is, and you're thinking, how can this help me? Ask me down below. I'll make a video specifically for you. If we get enough likes, if we get enough upvotes, I will make you that video and I'll show you how this can benefit you. If you appreciate this information, you've got to subscribe to the channel, ask for more, always providing you with the latest and greatest information. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.